Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the node class in the general linked list implementation. So the node class is uh, fairly simple. It's as far as the number of attributes is concerned, it has one attribute, the next pointer that points to the next node in the linked list. Now, uh, when we instantiate a new node, we don't know what the next pointer is or the next node is, and therefore we initialize it to none. And in the Thunder string method, we simply print out the node's ID in hex format. Now, this node class is a little more uh, intelligent than the one that we implemented previously, that um, it actually has the ability to insert a new node after the node itself. So uh, we, can, we define an insert after method that takes a new node um, as its parameter, we make sure that um, the new node is a node. We don't just want to random uh, insert random things after uh, ourselves. And if this is the wrong type, then we raise it to type error. Now, what it does next is it assign the next pointer of the current node to the new node's next pointer. And then it, uh, the current node's next pointer points to the new node. So um, let's see how it works pictorially. Okay, so here, um, here self is, is the, the, the node that we're operating on, and we have a next pointer that points to the next node, and we get a new node that we want to insert after self. So when we execute this line, that self dot next, which is pointing to this node. Here we assign it to new nodes dot next. So new node dot next now is pointing to the same node as self dot next, and we execute the next line, and that is we point the self dot next to the new node. So that's how new node is inserted after um, self, and as well as inserting. A node after self, the, the node class also have the ability to remove a node after self. And here is the code. So let's step through it um, with the aid of a picture here. So the first thing it does is it assigns self.next to a temporary pointer. So self.next is pointing to the second node in this chain here and now temp is pointing to it. So if temp, and in this case, obviously uh, temp is pointing to a node, so this is true, then it assigns what temp.next is pointing to, which is this node, to self.next. So self.next now is pointing to temp.next, or they're pointing to the same node. And then the next thing it's going to do is gonna, it's going to set self.next to none. So it's pointing to nothing now. And then finally, what it returns is it returns temp. Ah, there was a semicolon here that has now been magically removed. Anyway, so the remove after method has now removed the node after the node self from the um, linked list of nodes. Here is a question for you. Why do we have to check if temp, or in other words, uh, if temp is not none before we execute these two lines of code? In other words, is there a situation in which temp can be none? All right, so hopefully you figure out what that is, and the answer is uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, temp is assigned self.next, right? So potentially, self.next is pointing to none, pointing to nothing. For example, if it's the last node in the uh, linked list, right? So in that case, we really do not, um, at least in this case, we do not want uh, to do a temp.next. That would be equivalent to doing none.next, and it would raise an exception. So that's the reason for the check here. So this is the node class. It's slightly more 
complicated than the one we did before, but still um, fairly simple and straightforward. Now, once we have a non-trivial amount of code, we really should test it, but I'll make an exception here and um, move on to the linked list implementation and test it there.